Want to add a website to Google Analytics? Well, in this video, I'm going to walk you through how to add a website property to Google Analytics 4. First, you'll need to sign in or sign up for a Google Analytics account. So head over to the Google Analytics website and sign in or hit the Get Started Today button at the top right corner of the page. Next, if you have an existing Google account, you can log in or you can create a new account by clicking the Create Account link and creating one. Now, if you don't have a Google Analytics account, then click the Start Measuring button in the next screen. Of course, if you already have an account, you can just skip to the next step. All right, next, you'll need to enter the account name for your Google Analytics account. You'll also see different data sharing settings. Just make sure that you check all the boxes and then click Next. Now, to set up a GA4 property, enter your property name, then choose your time zone and currency, and then click Next. Now fill in the rest of the business information and then scroll down and click Create. You may now see a pop-up at this point to accept Google Analytics Terms of Service, so go ahead and check the checkbox and click I Accept. Your next step is creating your data stream. Since you're setting this up for a WordPress website, just click the Web button. Now just fill in your website's URL, and then fill in the name and click Create Stream. If you're using a website platform other than WordPress, then you'll want to refer to Google's instructions for installing Google Analytics on your site. But if you're using WordPress, then Monster Insights is your best option. Be sure to watch to the end where I'm going to show you two additional steps that you need to take in Google Analytics. You can get started by downloading and installing the plugin for free. Just go to your WordPress admin area and navigate to Plugins, and then click Add New. Next, search for Monster Insights in the search bar and click Install Now. Once the plugin installs, click Activate. Now you'll see the Setup Wizard that will guide you through the setup process step by step. So first, you'll see the Welcome to Monster Insights message and an opportunity to choose a category for your site. So just select one of the three options that best describes your site, and then click the Save and Continue button. Next, you'll have to connect Monster Insights to your website. So to do that, click the Connect Monster Insights button. Next, click Allow to give Monster Insights access to your account. Now, select your newly created property and click the Complete Connection button. Now, on this page, you'll see some important settings such as Event Tracking, which is enabled by default, Enhanced Link Attribution, and File Download Tracking, which are all enabled by default. As you scroll down, you'll see more settings. So you'll see Affiliate Link Tracking with two Affiliate Link Paths added by default, but you can add more if you like. The Access to Monster Insights Reports allows you to choose which user roles can see the Monster Insights Reports. You can enable or disable automatic plugin updates, and there's an option to show the Monster Insights badge in your website's footer. Now, once you've reviewed these settings, just click the Save and Continue button. Now, on the next screen, you'll see options for even more tracking options, add-ons, and helpful plugins. To start, you'll see the standard analytics and reports. These are the basic reports that you'll see on your WordPress dashboard. The enhanced link attribution can help you see where users are clicking on your site. And there's the all-in-one SEO toolkit, which integrates seamlessly with Monster Insights. And you'll also see that there's Smart Form Builder by WP Forms. That's the most popular WordPress form builder plugin. Now let's scroll down a little further and you'll find even more options. First, you'll see the privacy compliance add-on that helps make Google Analytics more compliant with regulations like GDPR, CCPA, and others. Next is Advanced Reports, which gives access to advanced reports inside Monster Insights, such as search keywords, real-time reports, publishers, e-commerce reports, and more. And there's e-commerce tracking, which instantly enables e-commerce tracking for your site. There's a list of 20-plus advanced tracking, which provides you with even more advanced tracking features, such as author tracking, form conversion tracking, scroll tracking, and more. And you'll see the advanced growth tools that give you access to our campaign URL builder, popular post add-on, A-B testing integration, and last but not least, the media tracking, which enables you to track embedded videos to see how many times that they were watched and how long they were watched on average, and more. All right, after that, you'll see a new screen with a message that says, Awesome, tracking and analytics are all set up. Now, this means that you've completed the setup process and installed Google Analytics on your WordPress site. So keep in mind, it can take up to 24 hours before you start seeing the reports on your WordPress dashboard. 
Now, before you leave the screen, remember to click the Finish Setup and Exit Wizard button. All right, here are the important steps that you need to take in GA4. If you created your own data stream in GA4 instead of allowing Monster Insights to create one automatically, you'll need to turn off the Enhanced Measurement in Google Analytics. So to do that, go to the Admin Cog. Next, go to Data Streams. Then click on your data stream. Now click on the switch to turn off Enhanced Measurement. After clicking the switch, you're going to see a pop-up message that's going to ask if you want to turn it off, so click Turn Off. By default, your data retention settings will be set to two months. Now, if you want to be able to use that data in custom reports beyond two months, which most people do, there's a way to fix that too. First, go to that Admin Cog, and next go to Data Settings, and then to Data Retention. Now, use the drop-down to change your settings to 14 months, and that's it. You've successfully added Google Analytics to WordPress the right way. All right, now once you've received data, you're going to see a quick summary of the website's analytics reports on the admin dashboard in the Monster Insights widget. To view the complete report, you're just going to need to go to the sidebar, and then under Insights, click on Reports, and you'll see the Overview Report. Then you can view all other reports by clicking on the tabs at the top of the page. So depending on your Monster Insights license level, you'll be able to see things like the Publisher's Report, which gives you tons of information about your top landing pages and a lot more. The Console Report shows you what keywords people are using to visit your site. The E-Commerce Report shows you all kinds of data about conversion rate, transaction, revenue, and more. The Custom Dimension Report helps you to keep tabs on custom dimensions you've set up. Forms tab is excellent for seeing your form's impressions, conversion, and conversion rate. The Real-Time Report shows you the activity on your site in real time. The Site Speed Report is great for making sure that your site's running fast. And the Media Report for seeing video plays, average watch time, and a lot more. Okay, now you know how to add a website property to Google Analytics 4. Thanks for watching, and remember to subscribe for more tutorials, explainers, and helpful content like this. And don't forget to check out the links in the description. We'll see you next time.